Hi, boys and girls. Well, today, Fun Friday, our book is all about There's No Place Like Space. Oh, place and space rhyme. And I see at the end of this title, there is an exclamation point. So we should be excited about this. There's no place like space. All about our solar system by Tish Rabe. So we're going to find out some more information about space. Hmm. Let's go see what the cat in the hat has to say about space. There's no place like space. And there they are off into outer space in a very interesting looking spacecraft. I bet you the cat in the hat probably designed that machine himself. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars and the sun. There is no place like space. I'll prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. I noticed two friends in the back of that spacecraft. Do you know who those two friends are? Yep, you're right. Thing one and thing two. Oh, I wonder if they're going to take the goldfish with them this time. Yeah, it looks like they might be leaving him behind this time. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see. Hmm. The planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Oh, I wonder if we'll start at the back of the solar system or at the front of the solar system. What do you think? Hmm, let's find out. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. Brr. So we've got hot and we've got freezing. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry and windy with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot, nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It's my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It's third from the sun. It is our planet. What's going to rhyme with birth? Yep, you guessed it. Earth. It spins all the time round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. Home sweet home. The question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, then why aren't we dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. So that's why we're not dizzy. We're locked on to the planet because of the force of gravity, so we don't feel like we're spinning. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Ah, shoo! He should be sneezing into his elbow. That's safety. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all of the other planets combined. So if you mixed up all the other planets and squished them into one, it still wouldn't be the same size as Jupiter. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and it wouldn't even sink? And we know that's because it's made of gases, remember? 
A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. It almost looks like a juggling act. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune you, Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, for the sun's just a speck in the sky far, far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing too wants to be one. In fact, so do I. Whoa, Pluto was really chilly. But we know that's a dwarf planet and isn't usually counted in our solar system anymore. We have seen all nine planets Really, there's eight. The cat in the hat does not know that Pluto is only a dwarf planet. Now, here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Mallory, Mercury, Valerie, Venus, Emily, Earth, Matthias, Mars, Just, Jupiter, Served, Saturn, Us, Uranus, 999, Neptune, Pizzas, Pluto, so Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Matthias just served us 999 pizzas. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Well, that's a lot of pizza. Move him. He works for the company Move Him, she does. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. Great dog, great bear, Orin, the bull, lion. It's a star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures that we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. So those are all of the constellations that they were looking at. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. And that star is called, what do you think? Yep. The sun. From the earth, it looks big. And this is the reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt, and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. So if one million Earths could fit inside the sun, that's pretty big. And we all know that our planets are shaped like a 3D what? Yep, a sphere, like a ball. Good job. They have space. They take up volume. Yep. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror, reflects the sun's light. We learned about mirrors, didn't we, and how they reflect light so that we can see images in them. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I bought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and find something new. What? 
The cat in the hat has his face on the moon. No way. And then here's our glossary and other suggestions for reading to give you information. All right, friends. Well, we reviewed a lot of information about the planets that make up our solar system and the space around us. So scroll on down and see what fun projects we have for you today.